What's up YouTube? Got a few new projects the other day. Can't wait to show you this new one. Well, I have recently moved and I'm already loading up my garage with projects and junk and things of that nature. I've um, been doing really good at the uh, garage sales, estate sales. Pick this guy up right here. A nice vice, heavy duty, an old craftsman. That thing is awesome. Um, picked this up for a few dollars plus that little vice with it and the stand. But one of the coolest things I found is this shop craft little edger uh, trimmer device. It's electric and it's totally vintage. I'm gonna have to look up the date on it and see exactly what model this is and when it came out. But it appears to be all the parts are there and it's just got a chrome handle and an on off switch. So um, I think first things first, I'm gonna plug it in and see if it actually works. I got this on a estate sale recently where they were just kind of clearing out the last few things and everything was a dollar. So. Um, got a really good deal on it. Actually, this was just kind of a bundle of a bunch of crap. So, all right, I'm gonna attempt to plug this in with one hand since I recently had surgery. See, and uh, I'm kind of one-handed right now. So, give me a chance to uh, set this up, and I'll show you what's going on. Hope you all can see that. switch is off. The switch isn't marked so I'm just going to assume that that's off. There's a little white butt dot and a black dot so we're going for black dot. Okay, and it's plugged in and let's see if I don't blind you with the light here. Set you up on my stool. Alright, switch on. It spins. Cool. It works. So, I guess uh, next part's going to be seeing, just cleaning it up, I guess. Okay, we'll go ahead and try this angle. Put this thing up here on the bench. Y'all can see it. Okay. So, on the back here, it has this wing nut. Take that off. Entire motor assembly comes off. Then you can turn it, mount it back on there, and check it out. Now it is a horizontal trimmer. Pretty awesome. So I'm going to take this and just kind of clean it up a little bit. As you can see, the blade's kind of loose. Alright, I think somebody had this off before because this washer was on the bottom, that one was on top with the brass one, and then this one was on top of that. Basically, brass washer, brass blade, then washer. I'm going to say this probably goes on the bottom between the two. And this one, there we go, we've got a big washer on there. Ooh, a bunch of yummy grass. Check that out. All 
Okay, well I definitely plan on reusing this blade and sharpening it. I don't really see anything that locks that blade down, or sorry, locks the blade to the shaft, other than just, like, compression. But then again, maybe they want it to kind of spin. I mean, it does have brass uh, washers on there, so it doesn't, like, completely lock up. That'd be my guess. Alright, you all ready to see what this electric motor looks like? Me too. <laughs> nice. Look at that. A couple egg sacs from spiders. There you go, that's cleaning up pretty nice. A little bit of steel wool. And uh, get the rest of the paint and stuff off of it. I think that'll clean up good. Well, here we go. Uh, the housing, I guess, is ready for paint. Um, I've sanded it down, cleaned it up. <clears throat> uh, obviously, I'd like to sandblast it, but I don't have my sandblaster. This really needs sandblasted, the base for the motor and everything, but uh, like I said, I don't have that, so I'm going to go ahead and paint this. That, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take it apart and clean it. That's about it for now. 
Hopefully some automotive primer will do the trick. Okay, y'all remember which wires go to what. Let's keep your uh, toothbrush handy. Cleaning parts. This thing is so full of spider webs and grass. It's just everywhere. Some lucky person on a moped. Speaking of which, uh, I still plan on working on my moped project, which is uh, several videos ago. Just haven't had time. And it's in storage right now with all my other stuff. So, as you can see, this is covered in nasty, dirty, greasy stuff. So I'll get that cleaned up. And there's the base. See if I can get this on video. Uh, don't forget, I got those apart. So this little fiber washer here goes on top of this. Those two long screws go through, uh, through the motor. And then it's this washer. And then goes on top of that shaft there. The brush has popped out, which I can't wait to try and put those back in. That's going to be a nightmare. And then last but not least, uh, right here goes this little curved washer. So, remember that. I'm probably not going to. Alright, well it's not exactly the right color, but uh, it's a gloss red uh, automotive enamel. That I'm going to put on this cover, so we'll see. Which is a little more of an orangey, but... Oh well. Should be good for the inside. Nice tack coat on here. Call that good, come back and finish it up. All right, so uh, I got the uh, orifice here cleaned out for the gear drive. Um, it had a bunch of old packed grease in there, like really thick, nasty stuff. Uh, basically what happens to old grease is over time with heat and um, debris, uh, contamination and things like that, grease will get like solidified. Um, yeah, to the touch it's still got some viscosity and some slipperiness but for what it needs to do it doesn't really do the trick same thing with like your window channels uh, with power windows if they get seized up the same thing will happen with the grease over time so clean it all out uh, sprayed it with WD-40 because WD-40 um, will actually break down grease and then hit it with some carburetor cleaner to really get the big chunks knocked down and then uh, use my little scribe wiped around in there and just took it all out in one one swoop there pretty much I uh, got it real cleaned out so next I uh, moved over to more of a little sanitary workstation um, where I can actually sit uh, I have to get all the little washers in the right order and then try and load the brushes back in there which is not gonna be fun um, I'm not gonna have y'all watch it because I don't know where I need to ha have the camera angle and it's gonna be ridiculously tough so uh, wish me luck all right, so I'm still fighting with these brushes. It's not just a matter of compressing the spring and putting the brush in there. No, that'd be too easy. You have to feed the wire in through the, the hole on the side here, 
on top of the spring and then run the little button of the uh, brush through the hole on that and into the spring and then press it all together. But the kicker is the fitting or the wire connector doesn't even fit through there flat. You have to turn it at an angle to get it through the hole. <laughs> you know, because why make it any easier? So I modified a screwdriver, made it skinny enough, you know, just cheapio, where it will actually fit down through the hole all the way to almost the back of the uh, brush housing. And uh, so I can compress that spring down and hopefully fit everything together. So that's where we're at. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I got the brushes all loaded. Um, that little tool was the trick. I was able to hold the spring in with my finger, compress it with the screwdriver, and then load the wire and the uh, brush in there, um, and then hold it all together. Uh, unfortunately, I forgot to uh, completely get tape or anything to hold the brush in, so I held the one uh, brush in place, ran around, got some tape with one hand, peeled off a little uh, shred of it to wrap that one up. So then, I thought, okay, before I put this next group together, I will, uh, you know, go ahead and tear off another piece of tape. Well, in the excitement, I went ahead and loaded the other brush. It only took me probably 20 seconds to get the other one loaded. And then I realized, guess what? I forgot to get off another strip of tape. So once again, I was stuck trying to tear off a piece of tape with one hand and get it wrapped up. So I uh, got it together. Um, all I got to do is put the, run the screws in all the way up through the bottom and uh, she'll be back together. Well, as far as the actual base is concerned, um, I didn't have any actual white, so this is kind of an off-white, if you can, you can tell there next to the paper towels. Uh, so, it's pretty close. Um, I'm thinking basically what it does is the colors kind of match the uh, Shopcraft insignia, which, I mean, that's not perfectly white either. It's a little bit lighter than that. Obviously, my lighting in here is kind of bad, but... Uh, and then it's not really a bright red, it's kind of an orange red. So it'll be close. Like I said, this paint job isn't coming out perfect. Um, but then again, it is a yard implement. If I had my sandblaster, it would look a lot better. But uh, for now, this is basically what I have. So this is what's going to work. Paint job is done. Clear coat is done. Yeah, once again, I know it's not perfect. Take out all my thread protectors. Now it's had uh, basically overnight to, to cure. Maybe I should set it out in the sun for a little bit longer, but I mean, it feels good. Um, probably not perfectly hardened, but I'm not going to use it right away, I don't think. Unless I just can't help myself. So let me get that all done. I'm looking around and I'm counting all the screws. <laughs> I think I might have one too many screws. So either that one showed up on the table somehow, or I've got an extra one that I didn't put in some place. I'm looking around. I don't know. We'll see. I might have extra parts left over. That's because I'm an engineer. <laughs> here we go. Got all the parts ready to assemble. I got big parts here, small parts here. Um, the handle and wheels, or sorry, the lower handle and wheels are out there. The paint's still drying on those but uh, they should be done. I should be able to get the motor and blade assembly put back together and just wait on the other part. So, here we go. Okay, so if y'all have ever have to do one of these, put the wires through first. You know what, I wonder if I just put that on backwards. I might have. Hopefully it doesn't matter. That was definitely the other direction. Anywho. Make sure the cardboard is on, and then you have to attach this ground wire to that hole. So that's what my extra screw was. So I believe the top of the motor is actually backwards right now from what it originally started out as. But you know what, I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference. So that the brushes are on the other side. Do this without breaking the ground wire. Okay. That's tight. Now then, top 
that down in and tighten up the mounting screws. Yeah, so basically just this piece is on backwards. There we go. Alright, now then to install the wires. Good thing I kept track. So the clean blue wire went to the black and held together with wire nuts. I don't normally use wire nuts, but that's how this one was assembled and it worked. Okay, now as you can see, yeah, I didn't restore the bottom of it. I'll get that later. But I can go ahead and put the skid plate back on. Got the two screws installed for the handle. Handle's back together. Base is painted. Go ahead and uh, put her all back together. And I think because what it is, I'm going to go ahead and just for now mount it as a uh, like a weed eater type of deal. Hopefully, y'all can see that. So we can do this without scratching the paint. Here we go. All right, here it is. Shopcraft model 3361 Type 1 electric edger all back together. I know the paint isn't perfect. Um, that's something I can always touch up later on, but uh, the metal came out really nice. I'm really happy with it. The wheels are all cleaned up. Uh, took a little steel wool to the handle, get her all cleaned up. Kind of polished a little bit. Um, maybe just throw some wax on there. Oop, got a spot right there. Uh, but yeah, she's all back together. So if anybody knows any information about this thing, as far as what year it is, whatever the case may be, I'm guessing just by the style of the cord, it's probably not super old. But uh, if anybody knows anything about it, please let me know in the comments.